This chapter is about the build modifier. The build modifier lets you recreate a mesh face by face. Meaning if I apply this, it has a start and a length, meaning it starts at frame one and then over in the next 100 frames, it will build this mesh like so. And the order of the faces can be determined. And you can either check randomized, which will just uh, randomly insert faces, or you can use the given order of your faces. By default, the faces have the order in which they have been modeled. But that usually doesn't make much sense because you, you create a box, for example, and then you insert loop cuts and they don't, they are not inserted in any specific order. So what you want to do is go into edit mode, press space, and type in sort faces. And that will ask you view axis. If you choose you view axis, that means the faces that are closest to you will be last and the faces that are furthest away from you will be first. So if you were to choose view axis, the build modifier would start would start producing the mesh towards you. Then there is cursor distance, which I will choose because I put the cursor right in front of my object. And of course, uh, there's selected. That means it will only sort the selected vertices. There is randomized, which would probably which would pretty much be the same as this. If you wanted to use the sort faces for for function for anything else, and Last but not least, there is material, and that means it will sort all the faces in the order of the materials assigned to them. Okay, so let's just choose sort faces by cursor distance, tap out of edit mode, and have a look at what this does. And you can see the build modifier builds all the faces from right to left and fills them in as the timeline goes. If I wanted to the entire grasshopper to be built that way, I'd have to select all the different pieces and then this one last, press Ctrl J. And now you can see they are being built fairly fast. And of course, for example, if you are wondering why the wings are built up so fast, it's because they are very coarse. You see the face distance is a lot longer or the width of two faces is a lot longer than here. So if you actually wanted to have to make this even, you'd have to, for example, link select, hover over one of these vertices, press L, and then W subdivide until you get something even. So that's it about the build modifier. It's, uh, I guess it's mainly use is to show off your mesh and to show off the topology of your mesh or construct a cool build up. Yeah, that's the build modifier for you.